Eugene Cephas. 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 My first time going to the studio, I hit right from on this side to the other side of the water to go to the studio. Went to Teddy Riley's studio in um, Virginia Beach and just went to that joint and made a song, got coke, got weed, got hair run. Just some crazy shit. And the shit, just, we just recorded for the play it around the way. But then my big mom stayed in Philly. And then she said she was out there one day. And then the, her little sister like, I heard that song before. I don't know how the hell she heard the song. And my man Vega moved to Delaware, I mean Dover. And he said he heard the song. So even though I'm not for sure if like, they really heard it, but just by them saying it, it just made me like, damn. Let me keep on doing this shit then. People coming back saying they heard it. They were citing this shit. And I'm young as hell, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just kept on, got a karaoke machine. You should just sit in there and hustle. But they write all day, hustle and write. And then next thing you know, like I said, like when it comes to that shit from like the Eastern Shore where I'm from, it's like I created that shit with the music shit. That's why I got respect for that shit, cause niggas can vouch. Every nigga that damn there on the track that's like in my age group that was out back there, I was I was the first one to take them niggas to the studio. I inspired them niggas to pick up that goddamn pen, write some shit down, like yo dice, check this shit out, and like yo, you know what, boom. Cause I already gotta connect with the studio. Tell niggas come on, we can get in the studio. Take niggas to the studio, drop the shit. Next thing you know, niggas start dropping eggs more takes. Then niggas start putting out a name like them niggas from around there rap. But it always like dice and them niggas from eggs more rap. You know what I'm saying? That's how my name start rocking. I used to go to parties, motherfuckers like get on the mic like, yo, dice, come on, man, my man trying battle. Niggas don't even know who the fuck I am. They just calling my name and heard I was out there. Hmm. But I ain't, I ain't freestyle. I always yeah. just was a writer. You know what I'm saying? The way I came up was straight, like it wasn't gutter, but it was it was it was it was rough. It was hard. Like nigga, we living in the crib that 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 motherfuckers used for the outhouse. You feel what I'm saying? Goddamn plastic windows and kerosene stoves with smut smutting up the fucking ceiling. You know what I'm saying? Can't read in school because you know the kerosene fumes and shit. When you read, try to read, make tears come from your eyes. So before, when the teacher used to tell me to read, I'd cuss her ass out just to get suspended. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. Growing. Getting older. Start realizing like, motherfuckers that was babies when I was out running the street is in the same goddamn cell as me now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, like. Like when you when you wake up one day and you 33 years old and you locked up and you even now they're playing poker. You sitting at a fucking table, 33 years old, gambling for a motherfucking soup to win a bag of soup, chips and shit like that. And then when you go on your cell, you 30 something years old and it's like, it just fuck with me because it's shit like, and then just by listening to other people talk, the shit they say, the shit that they, they, they that they want out of life, like, there's a bunch of lost souls in that bitch. And they brainwashed, cause once they get a felony and get fucked up, niggas, like, you got, I hate when, like, like, like shit like this, a prime example. A nigga that was with, let's say a nigga that was with two possession with the 10 charge. Niggas so fucking dumb and so fucking blind. You doing your bid, a five year bid, six year bid, and the only thing you can talk about is like getting back out of the hustle. Yeah. That's that's it don't make sense. So and that that's how I used to sound when I used to go in that bitch like man shit, I got one more in me. No the fuck I don't. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a waste of time. Only reason why I'm saying I got one more in me because I don't give a fuck about myself. Right. I can't see past go. You get what I'm saying? And that's I, that shit that started turning my nose up and looking at niggas like, but Every nigga I look at is the type of nigga that I hang around with every day. So now I'm like, man, I got to get the fuck from round motherfuckers like that. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? That's why when I got out this last bed, I told myself like late nights, man, like we locked down at 11. I used to walk and pace that goddamn floor after lockdown until like five o'clock. And I used to pace the floor so fucking much that it only felt like I paced the floor for 45 minutes. I'm thinking I only walked the motherfucker for 45 minutes. I don't walk this motherfucker floor for five hours. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? That's how deep in my head I'm thinking. Like, 
you can't keep doing this, yo. And then one time, like I, I go back every year, like when I, like one year when I was in that bitch, when I was in that for my put my first drug charge, I was in D block, and it was a line of niggas on the same fucking row in D block. Nigga, like that's like the young nigga. I made a song about Trey Trey, Trey Trey dying stay. I mean. I added up all the motherfucking numbers. It added up like 350 fucking years with just a row of like goddamn seven sales. All that goddamn time. And I'm sitting over here with this two and a half. So I'm sitting there. I was thinking at the time, but damn. And I know I'd have done shit for to be on that side and be part of the numbers. So when I first got out, the first time I was like, oh, I'm gonna chill. But then, you know, when niggas get out, the streets are blind. Screech just knock the shit out you. Now everything that you ever had in your mind will knock that shit right out you like you never thought. Scrape. Cause you got so much shit in your phone mm. that ring. Kids calling. Rent gotta be paid. So now, and then the only thing you know is hustling. So you gonna go back hustling. But this time, I think it was different for the simple fact that I was doing something when I went to court before, I, cause I went back for a violation. And when I went in there, I ain't never done right as far as like trying to go get a trade, go to school. So when I went in there and, and, and had my paperwork saying that I got locked up on November the 27th, I was starting my welding class on December the 5th. I was doing everything right, you know what I'm saying? I just mm -hmm. did 14 months for the charge. But now five months later, they violated me for the same charge. So I'm thinking like, they ain't gonna do shit. Nigga got out here. Doing something that I don't know what to do, trying to get a trade, going to school, working. So that's what really fucked me up when I went in front of that fucking judge and pulled my heart out to him. I even told him, like, if you lock me up today, you're not punishing me, you're torturing me. You get what I'm saying? For for what? I got my I got my papers right here saying I'm about to start school to better my life and get a trade. I'm working, you know what I'm saying? I'm not just doing this for the, just be doing this for the get out your way. I'm doing it because I really want to do it. I'm talking to him like this. Mm -hmm. He just shook his head, just pulled on his glasses and said, I'm going to give you a year. For what? You can't even tell me where you give me a fucking year. I just did 14 months. You just, I just lost 14 months. And for real, for I pleaded out because you fucking crackers wouldn't let me go. You feel what I'm saying? And that year was just something you... That, just a year that's just, sick, but the thing is, it's a blessing at the same time. Because if you never did it, I probably would be back, back hustling. But like I said, like, what niggas got to understand, everything that seems bad ain't bad. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. Everything that seems like it ain't a blessing, it, it could be a blessing. Because by the end of the day, that night before I got out, I was just laughing. Because I was telling myself, like, these crackers don't know what the fuck they just did. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then as soon as I get out, my first week is blessings happen. I meet up with my with with, with shorty that shoot videos. I meet up with I, I just start meeting all these amazing people. Mm -hmm. And then make it so bad is people that that didn't see my vision. Like like motherfuckers I've been knowing my whole right, life. Right. Now I'm around motherfuckers that's just like it's like they popping up out of nowhere. Yo, dice, I feel you. And, and I'm not feeling like it's fake. Cause I ain't got shit to offer them, so they ain't gotta come to me and be like I'm gonna fuck with you. Cause they ain't like I'm I'm on I was already on the path for like being successful. Mm -hmm. I'm starting from the bottom, and for people to jump on board, it ain't nothing but a blessing. You get what I'm saying? That's right. And that's how I'm taking it. And that's that's like that's a word of advice to anybody like any nigga that's locked down and you going through some shit. Don't always look at the shit like it's something bad. It's always something good, something bad. You know what I'm saying? Right. Depending on how you how you make it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's all up to you. Feel it, yeah. breathe it, shit it, every fucking thing. Yeah. And I'm a sh like, like I, it, it's there, it's there. Yeah. I know it's there. Yeah. And motherfucker can't tell me nothing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you, you show that in you. You show that whole. You show that. Yeah. Absolutely. You show that 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 drive. That that. I mean, you have a vision out of this world. Mm -hmm. I mean, because when you. <clears throat> You haven't been too long, been home for a minute, a month, a couple months, and you you can see the people you be around now, and you see like they still standing still, mm -hmm. cause now you come on, you say, why do they keep talking the same thing? Y'all haven't changed. But you know what? They don't even talk no more. Cause the thing is, every nigga I fuck with like that, and I try to try to like get them to come up with me. It's like when I when it's it's so crazy because 
when I talk to them niggas, them niggas, I could talk to them niggas for three hours straight, and them niggas can't say shit. And you know how the conversation is? Mm -hmm. All I gotta do is say, do y'all got anything to say? I could talk for three hours straight, and just ask each one of them niggas, all of them, man, shh. Why, why, why you think that they don't have anything to say? Because they know they lost. Mm, and they wow. know I'm pat. They, they they know mm -hmm. they know like they That's they rough. they haven't they haven't broke through that wall that I broke through. Yeah. And I don't even know. I don't know what. I don't know. I, like I asked, I don't know what they really feel. Do you feel like you can't have no foul feeling? Cause I ain't no nigga saying like, look man, I know where this lick at. Let's go rob this nigga. Or nigga, or oh, I gotta connect. Let's go get this drug money and got. I'm not doing anything to jeopardize your freedom. I'm not telling you no nothing nothing like that. Everything I'm telling you is something to make us grow and we ain't got to worry about no bullshit. It's something that can get us ahead and not set us back. So when I look at them niggas and they blank, I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? It makes me mad. Because you know how they say, the, like when you give so much and receive less, mm -hmm. like I give all the love, but I, re right. I receive a little <clears throat> love back. That's how I'm feeling. But yeah, that's, that's what's happened. The energy is coming back to you. Yeah, and you start and, and like like they say like life is like a book, you change chapters. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And even if it's a brother, a, a sister, a mother, a, a close friend, if they ain't on the same page as you, you change yours. You let them stay right there. Yeah. I'm trying to finish my book and let let my fuckers let my fuckers know about me. Yeah. I'm trying to show these motherfuckers like motherfucker, I can do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And can't nobody tell me I can't. Yeah. That shit going in. Yeah. That's the worst it's feeling ever for to have it all one day to wake up the next day and you got shit. Yeah. That's that's stupid. Just like that. Just like that. Yeah. Wake up one day, a one fucking knock, the wrong fucking knock, and the wrong goddamn skin color at the front of your fucking door with the wrong goddamn uniform on, and it, everything is over. You, any street nigga know how it is. No matter how much money you get, when you get the phone call four, five o'clock in the fucking morning, yo, them bitches out here and they kicking in the door. I don't give a fuck. You got five bricks in the goddamn safe, a half a million in the goddamn safe, four cars in the motherfucking driveway, a bad bitch, jewelry, clothes. None of that shit matter when you hear that coming through that motherfucking phone. Only thing that matter to you, my fucking freedom. Bitch, did they say my name? That's the only thing, nigga, over there. Is these bitches outside? You get what I'm saying? And that feeling right there, dog, knocks all, knocks everything out. That's when you realize you was like this, but you realize, so nigga, you ain't never this. Wow. You chasing a dream. And a dream, and that, you know, you ain't chasing a dream, you chasing a nightmare. Because yeah. your life going to be living hell. And then once you get back in that bitch and you can't, you can't, like, like when you realize, you're, like, and then your support system go down, it's like, I've I seen it too many times. And I've seen too many niggas that I, I used to, like, used to look up to and, like, yo, they got it all. And now niggas ride around the beat up cars. Bitches won't even holler at them now. Like, so hustling is dead. Drugs is dead. Because drugs is a dead man's game. You can't win. Guaranteed, L. That's you know deep. what I'm saying? That's deep. Yeah, it's guaranteed. That is deep. I don't fucking rap. I really got a purpose of doing this shit. I got a goddamn. I got is a is a meaning. Is a is a is a thing for what the fuck I'm doing. And the thing is, the key is is to tell my story after the success. You get what I'm saying? Oh yeah. After that, cause that shit'd be so motherfucking powerful, and it. it the shit, the stories I'm gonna tell, they go, I want people to like, damn, how the fuck he do that? My three kids, you feel what I'm saying? Niggas gotta think deeper than that little gangster shit, cause by the end of the day, if I'm on that ride ride shit and not thinking, like doing stupid shit, kill a nigga, bow, kill him, just to show that I'm real, kill this nigga. Oh, he did. I get picked up, I do life in prison. I got three kids I love dearly. So, I'm get, I get like what, 50, 60 years in prison for that dumb ass shit. But after 10 to 12 years within that bed, my goddamn kids growing. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They still living life. They still got them 
They still graduate and they still earning certain shit in life. They still doing shit. That pain that comes with that shit, I'm not trying to feel it. Yeah. I'm not trying to be behind that wall hearing that shit, you feel me? I'm yeah. not trying to hear about no motherfucking graduation or what the fuck one of my goddamn baby mamas got another nigga doing for one of my motherfucking kids. It ain't worth killing that nigga. It ain't worth sitting out that bitch selling drugs. It ain't worth none of that shit. And that and that's another thing that opened my eyes. Cause the more they the more and more I go to jail is the older and older they get and the more they understand yeah. what the fuck daddy doing. Like dad, what's up? Damn, you don't fuck with us enough to stay the fuck from out of jail. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. You're you on the right track and getting the passion for it. You know, and that and that trend. And like I said, I man, for real, a lot of people is hungry for it. You know, you just gotta keep going. Like you said, just going that way. It's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna happen. You just gotta keep, just stay, yeah. stay true to yourself and keep the faith. Yeah. That's it. And stay focused. Bitch, I need a record deal So I can tell the whole world how the fuck I feel Been through it all, made it through my damn falls Cost to be the boss that I paid my dues Got winning in my blood, I refuse to lose